Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Tekken Tag. It's been a bit. I know. Um, the thing is, like, I try not to upload too many videos. Do shall you day, fuck it. I try not to upload, like, more than three videos now. Um, because of the fact that it might be a little too much. And I went and finished, you know, all of Kirby in, like, a day. So that's why a lot of those videos, a lot of Kirby videos, for those that are curious... You know, we're out. And, of course, with, with um, Tekken being kind of, well, not really dropped, necessarily, but just more so not played a lot. And that basically explained why. It's because of the fact that I played a good amount of Kirby. And I fucking enjoyed it, by the way. Honestly, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't mind doing another Kirby game again, but I just don't know which one would be probably the best one to do. But anyway, um... I am well aware of the fact that, yes, Bruce was an unlockable character, and that, yes, I did accidentally play an unlockable character that I didn't mean to, and I'm trying to stick with the order of things, and I kind of fucked it up, but at this point, who cares? It's too late now, I already played Bruce, so... Bruce has, like, campaign-wise, I already beat his campaign. So, in all fairness, if it happens again with another character, then so be it. If I end up randoming... Or doing random and I end up getting a, a character that's an unlockable character then so be it now granted the thing is I probably won't do like I probably won't do oh shall you into Miharu or anything like that I don't want to make this series boring not just for me but for you guys as well I don't want to like accidentally play the same character or a clone character uh, right after another so like Nina and Anna which to be fair they're not really Fully clones, I guess, but still. I'll try to avoid some of that the best I can. Um, why did I pick Xiaoyu? Because she's just right there. And for those that are curious, if you already know by now, Xiaoyu is my brother's main on this game. The YouTube brother. One on, mostly on YouTube. With me, with us. Shit. I was gonna do some co-op stuff. But it didn't happen. Um, you know, things happen, so that's just how it is. Things don't work out. And plus, you know, it gave my brother more time to, I guess, play his games. And I also got a chance to at least catch up on some other stuff as well on my own. So maybe eventually we'll get back to doing co-op stuff. Maybe even eventually, you know, might even just get back to doing, uh, like, Nocturne, because... That's something we gotta continue. Well, we don't have to. We don't have to continue anything, really. That's the thing with the co-op content, though, is, like, I don't really care if it's finished or not. Even if it's, quote-unquote, main content. Because, like, I'm pretty sure people probably think, like, oh, it's a main Let's Play, which means that you have to finish it. And I don't know where they get that idea from. Well, I mean, I don't know where they get that idea from. It's from me. As I used to say that a lot, actually. Now that I remembered. <laughs> but, um... Now, nah, you know, even if it's just, quote-unquote, a main Let's Play, it doesn't matter. Because co-op, you know, it can't be done efficiently enough. It's not like, it's not like I'm, you know, where I'm playing Tekken Tag or, you know, just a normal game of my own, right? Where, um, if I do a normal game like this, yes, I can easily do this whenever. Hell, I can do this after work if I wanted to. I mean, I could do a lot of those after work, to be fair. I just choose not to. He's gonna switch. See? It's so fuck. This is why... Okay, honestly... This right here is what makes me almost just want to say fuck it and make it a one round game. But at the same time, like, I really shouldn't. Because that would just ruin everything for it. And to be fair, like, it takes me, like, what? Ten minutes to beat a character, so... It's not truly a struggle anyway. God damn it. Ah, fuck. But anywho, yeah, so... No co-op this week. Again, apologies for that. And for those that are excited about, like, Persona 3, I'm also sorry, too, because... We are playing the PS3 version of the game, and I don't have a way to record PS3 right now. At the moment, I haven't really tried to fix it, so... That's gonna take some time to... to finish. Yeah, again, this is my brother's main, so I don't really know how to exactly play Xiaoyu very well. I have an idea of how she plays, it's just I don't like play her very much. But, um, other topic I can go into. So, 
I bought the Wii version of Resident Evil 4 like a long time ago. This was before like my epic charade of just wanting to buy Resident Evil 4 copies. Um, anywho, so I bought that like a long time ago and played it like once to try it out. Thought it was cool and that was about it, right? I kind of went on my merry day because I'm like, eh, I've already beaten RE4, I'm good. I'll, I'll play it eventually sometime. <coughs> and, um, well, I whipped it out yesterday and I got the Chapter 3 too. And I can guarantee... I, I, okay, I found the sweet spot for the sensor bar. So just to give some context here, I found the sweet spot. You know the sweet spot for you know Wii sensor bars because it's kind of hard. It's kind of a hard thing to find sometimes. And uh, yeah, well I found it. It's like the clip, you know. I'm just kidding. Um, so got the good spot and yeah, like god damn, RE4 on Wii is great. You know, it's funny. I was discussing it with my brother and he was talking about like, isn't that the same thing for Sonic Unleashed? Like, isn't Sonic Unleashed on Wii like the preferred version? And I told him like, yeah, that's technically true and not because. A lot of people say that the Wii version, or at least Unweashed, you know, a lot of people like that one. And I've beaten the PS2 copy of it, and I just... Which is basically the Wii version, just without Wii controls. And I did not like the PS2 one. And I get it. You know, I get why people like them. It's just that for me, you know, I prefer the HD version myself. Now, maybe... Maybe playing on Wii might be better, because at least then... I mean, well, I have game control. I did play it on Wii, but it might be a better way of playing it, because it was basically built for Wii, night stage-wise, I should mention. Um, but that's the thing, though. I don't really like the night stages in that game. And you might be thinking, like, well, hold on. It's the night stages. Like, of course they're bad. And it's like, I get that, but honestly, I don't hate the night stages in Sonic Unleashed, mainly the PS3 and Xbox 360 version. I don't hate them. No, I'm being dead serious. I actually don't hate them at all. I like them. I like him so much to the point where, like, I'm willing, if we ever do a co-op of it, I'm willing to do all the night stages if need be, and I can just let them handle the day stages. But, that's the thing, though, too, is maybe doing a co-op of Sonic Unleashed might be a bad idea. Um, the thing is with Sonic that people kind of take for granted is you you have to learn how those games work. It's kind of, it's much like a fighting game. Like, once you learn how a game works, you have to learn a new mechanic for, like, a new game, and then after that, you kind of get the idea. So, like, playing Tekken and then going straight into Mortal Kombat, it's like, they're they're night and day, but you can definitely carry over a lot of fundamentals from both games, and they can realistically work pretty well. Like, one has a block button and, you know, weird button layouts, while the other one is just very fluid with its, you know, uh, moveset, and the other one's a bit more strict, which, you know, there's, there's, there's good Mortal Kombat's out there, okay? You know, I like MK9, so it's not like I'm trying to shit on Mortal Kombat or whatever. I'm just saying that there's, like, there's a big difference. Like, I feel like this game, like, with Tekken... I feel like Tekken's always been a lot more fluid with control. Whereas with Mortal Kombat, it's more, funny enough, closer to anime fighters. Eh, sort of. Because of the way that it works. Well, actually, it's more closer to Street Fighter, if anything. Yeah. I know I'm doing the same button presses here. But you get the idea. So... It's very obvious that they're different games, but at the very least, you know, you can theoretically go into one game, play one, and then play another one. Like, I can go play Dragon Ball Fighters, and switch off to, like, I don't know, Blaze Blue. Well, okay, that's way too close to each other, actually. Uh, I can play, like, you know, Dragon Ball Fighters, and then go straight into, say, like, Virtual Fighter or something, or Dead or Alive. And, for the most part, be able to connect pretty well. And even, to an extent, Smash... But then again, you could argue, like, well, you learned how to play Smash, so that's kind of going to already be that way. Like, you're already going to know how all that stuff works. But then again, well, yeah, I learned. So, yeah. Um, and I feel like that's the same thing with Sonic games. I know that's kind of weird that I got into that topic, but Sonic is all about, like, learning how to get around the mechanics of that game. So, like, I'm not a big fan of Sonic Heroes, and I think a lot of people probably aren't either, but... No, there's people that do really like Sonic Heroes, and, you know, I don't blame them. There's some good stuff to it. Like, there's some definitely cool things. It's just Sonic Heroes, I guess. You know, I never really learned it very well. So I think that's where I'm kind of faltering, is, like, I haven't learned it. Because judging by the fact that I really like Sonic Unleashed, and a lot of people just tend to just kind of not like it very much, especially for the night stages, which I get. But for me, it's like, I like it because I learned it. You know, I learned how to combo. I learned how to beat the stages. I know where all the medals are at, which was a thing that people were pissed off about. Which is why they prefer the SD version, which is kind of funny. Because in all technicality, like, you still have to get medals. You don't have to find them, but you just, you have to get them anyway. 
So the whole like, oh, I need metals to open the door thing is kind of stupid. Like, yeah, but you still gotta do it. I mean, regardless, you know, it's still gonna happen. It will happen a little differently, sure, which, you know, might be the better option, I guess, at the end of the day. Holy fucking shit, what the fuck is she doing? Okay, that's fucking horseshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to pick them again? I guess just for the sake of just keeping up with tradition of the characters that I was playing, I might as well do that. You know, technically speaking, what I could do, if I really wanted to, was just play this entire game as one character, and then, like, at the very end, switch to, like, whatever character I don't have an unlocked ending for, and then just call it a day. Well, that's the thing, though. This is a character's ending, not... This is a character's arcade, not just the ending, I should say. Like, I'm not playing this game for the sake of getting an ending. I'm playing it so I can play the character and show that off, you know, show off that I can beat as that character. Now, technically, the secondary character doesn't matter nearly as much, which obviously it doesn't because, you know, it doesn't give me the endings. By the way, this trick I'm doing right here does not really work very well. The whole, like, kicking her on the ground thing, it takes too fucking long to kill her with. You're better off just doing, like, again, like, a very strong, powerful move. There we go. I just want her dead. Alright, there we go. That's Xiaoyu's campaign done. With Bruce alongside. Unless I somehow end up getting the Bruce ending, which would piss me off. Because that mean I have to start all over, which you don't. Thankfully. Also, I did look it up, and I'm pretty sure that this game came out before Tekken 4. And now I keep talking about Tekken 4, now it's like, God damn it, I want to do Tekken 4. <laughs> That's the Tekken issue. Like... I even though I'm not the best at playing them, I love playing them. You know, I really do. I have a lot of fun playing these games. So, you know, that's just what happens. Anyway, that's it for Show You. See you guys next time for some more Tekken Tag Tournament. And as always, take care, everybody.